show you a clip taken from a discussion between Christina Hoff Summers and the philosopher Roger Scruton about beauty and art. Now, these are topics that Roger Scruton has spoken about many times before, and he's always got very interesting things to say about them. And it's also interesting that it turns out Roger Scruton and Christina Hoff Summers are actually very good, very old friends, so that's kind of neat. In the video, Roger makes this very compelling observation. He says that at some point along the way, artists themselves turned against their own vocation. And that vocation, according to Roger Scruton, is to produce beautiful things, through the beauty of which we understand our own predicament, the predicament of being human. And clearly, Roger Scruton feels that something very meaningful and valuable has been lost. So here's Christina Hoff Summers in conversation with Roger Scruton talking about beauty and art. And you have seen this, uh, for example, in, in the area of art and art history, mm. how there was a tradition of beauty and works of genius and younger people were taught to appreciate and younger artists to emulate and then suddenly there were well it wasn't sudden but there was a gradual yes. uh, move in in modernity and then post-modernity and something was lost and y y yes. you talked about this in yeah this is something that has troubled me because uh, I've always been interested in 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 the arts uh, and f for me when I was growing up I was, like many of my generation, I was looking for something that would uh, represent the civilization that had almost destroyed itself in the Second World War. You know, what was so great? What is, what is the symbol of that that I would really want to hold on to? Of course, art, music, and literature became symbols for me. Uh, and then I was faced, as all my generation were faced, with the pu strange puzzle that at a certain stage, uh, artists themselves seem to be turning against their vocation. The vocation of art, as I see it, is to produce beautiful things through the beauty of which we understand our own predicament. You know, the human condition, as we know, is, uh, is full of woes, uh, full of tragedy, full, uh, and full of mystery. <laughs> mystery and, and one of the tasks of art is to reconcile us to this, to show that in the very depths of despair there is beauty which, which redeems us. And all the great art of the past, you know, right up to Van Gogh and, and Cezanne and so on, was devoted to this, this transcendental goal. Suddenly uh, there was a kind of culture of repudiation that came about, you know, th that we don't want this, we can't do it, therefore we're going to condemn it. Uh, and you get art like de Kooning and people like that, which became very fashionable in America, devoted to the goal of, uh, of desecrating the human condition rather than redeeming it. Uh, and I, I think that that was, you know, a, a religious person would say that was the devil's work. But I don't want to put it quite in that way, but there is something in us which wants to destroy, as well as the other thing that wants to affirm. And uh, art is particularly vulnerable to this.